Yo, what is up you guys? It's Dominator here and I am back with another Pokemon tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the best EXP grind spots in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I have made a few videos like this in the past. I did one for Fire Red and Leaf Green, one for Ruby Sapphire Emerald, and one for Diamond Pearl Platinum. So I figured I would do one for Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I feel like this will help a lot of people out. And this is if you don't want to grind the Elite Four. Now, why wouldn't you want to grind the Elite Four? Well, you have to do the five battles and you're locked into those battles. And if you're switch battling, it can get really tedious and really annoying to have to go through all those battles, use all your revives and potions. Don't get me wrong, it's still a really good way to get a lot of EXP and to level up your Pokemon really fast. But this method involves rebattling trainers and it'll give you so much EXP and you don't have to do it so many times in a row. You can do it as many times as you want. But you don't have to be locked into it. So if you need to heal your Pokemon, you can just go to a Pokemon Center, go right back to it, and do it again. So this will be really useful for a lot of people. It's actually really useful for me because I always questioned how I was going to level grind in Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and I figured out this way that works really well. All that I ask for you guys is that you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. YouTube tells me about 94% of you guys that watch my videos aren't even subscribed, so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're one of those 94%. It's totally free, it helps me out a lot, and I plan to make more tutorial videos like this in the future. So we're gonna start here in Mahogany Town. Now keep in mind, I do have the National Pokedex, I have beaten the Elite Four, and this is just a way to level grind past the Elite Four if you really wanna get your Pokemon to level 100. But we're gonna start in Mahogany Town, let me just quickly show you where I'm going. Here's the map, pardon the switching between screens, but that's what happens when you're on a DS. And we're at Mahogany Town right here, right south of the Lake of Rage. That's where we wanna be. This is my personal favorite spot for level grinding. And let me just show you what I have in mind to do. So in rebattling trainers, normally in like Fire Red, Leaf Green, Diamond Pearl Platinum, you have access to the Versus Seeker, but there's no Versus Seeker in this game. So you have to use the Pokey Gear to rebattle trainers and it's really simple after the fact that you get their number so i'm going to show you the first guy that is really good at level grinding and we're going to encounter a pokemon here so the first trainer we we're going to want to battle is this guy it's uh pokey maniac brent now after you battle him once you're going to want to get his number so you can rebattle him and then all you're going to want to do is come over here and save your game now, if I head over to Cerebi, Cerebi has a list of all the trainers that you can rebattle, and it tells you what day of the week they can rebattle you and what times. Now, Pokemaniac Brent is only available on Mondays from 4 a.m. to 10 a.m., but since we know that, we can exploit this a lot. <laughs> so, what we're gonna wanna do is after you save your game, you're gonna want to go exit out of the game and you're gonna wanna change your date. Now, it works exactly the same on DS, 3DS, whatever, as long as you have the games and you can change your date. So we're gonna wanna change our date to right currently November 1st because that is a Monday. And then we're gonna wanna change the time to 359 we want to change it to 359 as you can see it says 359 now what this does is that when you time skip normally in a pokemon game it will not count as you time skipping unless the time changes to the correct time that you want it to be so for example if i want to skip it by one day instead of just changing the date one day later i'm going to want to change it to 11 59 pm and then in game have it roll over to the next day at midnight same concept here you want it to roll over to 4 a.m which is the time that brent can rebattle you so all you have to do is after you change your date, make sure you're in game before it actually changes to four. Now what we can do is open up the Poke Gear, and we essentially just wait until this clock turns into 4 a.m. And there we go, it changed to 4 a.m., which means Poke Maniac Brent is able to battle us again. Now Cerebi says that this is not guaranteed, that it, there's a chance they won't rebattle you. And I totally missed Brent, so we're gonna have to find him. Oh, I missed him, there he is, okay. 
So Cerebi says that it's not guaranteed and there's a chance they won't rebattle you, but I have yet to see that. So it must be a pretty low chance. So we're just going to call Brent. He's going to pick up. And there we go. He wants to battle us. So we just go back to where he is on Route 43. And before we do this battle, I wanted to show you the Pokemon we're going to be leveling up today. I just chose a strong Pokemon. And this Pokemon, the Shiny Darkrai, which I have a video of me getting the Shiny Darkrai. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a card right now. This Shiny Darkrai was caught on my Platinum version. So it's going to get an EXP bonus because I'm not the original trainer on Heart Gold, And it's also holding a Lucky Egg. Now, there's a pretty simple way to get a Lucky Egg. I will explain that later in the video. But this is what we're rocking with. So we get two EXP bonuses for it not being our Pokemon and also being having a Lucky Egg held. So let's see how much EXP we get from this guy. And what's really convenient about Brent is that he's right by Mahogany Town. We're going to encounter this Pokemon right here. So if you want to use a Repel, you totally can. But if you want to encounter Pokemon, hey, who knows? Maybe you can get a Shiny. And he's going to want to battle us. And the way these rematches work, when you rematch him the first time, he's only going to have like level 30 Pokemon. But then after that, for the next battle, he's going to have like higher level 30 Pokemon to level 40 Pokemon. And then for the last battle, the fourth battle and forward, he's going to have max level Pokemon in this case, it's a level 48 Gyarados, a level 40 Lickitung, a level 58 Nidoqueen, and a level 58 Nidoking, which are kind of nuts. So what we're going to do is we're going to Nasty Plot first turn because I'm pretty sure Darkrai doesn't one-shot the Nidoking and Nidoqueen. But with the Nasty Plot, we're going to one-shot everything now. Easy peasy. So let's see how much EXP this gives with the two EXP bonuses. And we're going to get 4950 EXP from that one Pokemon. We're going to level up to level 82. Keep in mind, this is a Darkrai that's level 82. So it would level up really slowly. And the fact that we got that much EXP in one Pokemon just makes it level up pretty fast. So we're going to take out this. And we're just going to take out his whole team and see how much we get from that. We're going to get 5422 EXP from the Nidoqueen. Queen. He's going to send in Nidoking. King. We're going to keep battling because we're trying to level up this guy. Quickly Dark Pulse this. And we're going to get 5449 EXP. So just the Nidoqueen Queen and Nidoking King alone give you over 10,000 EXP. But with the Gyarados, we're already rocking around over, well, actually a little more than 15,000 EXP. This Lickitung doesn't give you too much, but it still adds to just the amount from one battle. So 2445 EXP from the Lickitung. Not, nothing crazy, but I'll do the math. I'll show it on screen how much total EXP we got from that single battle. You'll see it now. I think it's around like 19,000, 20,000, something like that. So that's just from one battle. And what's great about this method is that you can just do it again. So you just come back to this little area, save the game. The reason why you need to be in this other area is because if you call him while you're right next to him, he'll just say, why would you call me while I'm right next to you? Something silly like that. So save the game, change the date back to 3.59 a.m., and rinse and repeat. All right, setting the date back to 3.59 a.m., opening up Heart Gold version. We're going to open up the Pokey Gear again. We're just going to wait till it says 4 o'clock. Might as well scroll down to Brent again so we can get his, get him called really quickly. And there we go. It is 4 a.m. We're going to give Brent a call. We're going to see what he says. I've got time like usual. Let's have another battle. So, Cerebi does say that it's not guaranteed they'll rebattle you, but you can just keep calling them over and over again if it doesn't work, and it'll eventually work. That being said, I have yet to have it not work, so I don't know what the odds are, but to me, so far, it's been guaranteed. So, we can just battle him again, and he's going to have the same level Pokemon. If he has weaker Pokemon, just battle them a few more times, and it'll be up to this. There's no, like, crazy requirements you have to do. And, oh, I forgot to Dark Pulse this time. Maybe, maybe Darkrai can one-shot everything now. 
or not Dark Pulse, uh, Nasty Plot. But we're going to take out his whole team again. We're going to easily level up Darkrai to level 83 without even really trying. Come on, one shot. I think the Nitto Queen is the only one that gives issues. Okay, yeah, we don't one shot the Nitto Queen. And of course, we're poisoned. This is why you Nasty Plot. Now, keep in mind, it's like I can get hurt. I can lose all my PP for my move. But it's like Mahogany Town is right south of us. So we can just go back to the Pokemon Center and heal. So it doesn't even matter. And we're going to get all of that nice EXP level up to level 83. He's going to send in Nitto King, which I'm pretty sure we one shot the Nitto King. And I think it's the Nitto Queen that's the only one we can't one shot without Nasty Plot. Easy. Get that 54, 49 EXP from the one Pokemon. I would argue that this is more broken than the Versus Seeker in Diamond, Pearl, Platinum. I would argue because these Pokemon are nuts. Level 58 Pokemon that you can just rebattle anytime as long as you just set the time correctly. And we're going to knock him down. Now, another alternative, instead of holding a Lucky Egg for your Pokemon, you can hold an Amulet Coin and get double the money. So this is a really good way to just farm money as well if you want to do that. But uh, I'm going to show you the other spot that I think works really well for grinding EXP. So we're going to head over to the Victory Road. I'm going to head over to the Indigo Plateau because I got to heal Darkrai. But we're going to go to Victory Road and there's going to be another trainer we can rebattle over and over again. All right, so we flew to the Victory Road. According to Cerebi, it is on Thursday, and you're going to want to scroll down here. Also, I will leave a link to this page in the description so you can check out all these trainers if you want to find even better trainers that work for you for yourself. But I figured I'd pick the best few that I've seen. Um, we're going for Ace Trainer Gavin on Route 26, which is directly south of Victory Road. So we're just going to hop in here. He is also in the morning, except his date is Thursday. So we're going to save the game right here. Today's date. We're going to set this to, I believe it's the 4th. All right. The 4th is the Thursday. Good thing I know my dates. And same deal, 359. That's only specifically for these two trainers. There are other trainers. Like, for example, if you want to fight a trainer that's only in the afternoon, you're going to want to set your time to... 9 59 a.m and then have it roll over and then at night you want to set it to 7 59 or p.m 7 59 p.m for the nighttime but for since these two trainers are conveniently in the morning we're just gonna keep doing 3 59 a.m just has to be thursday this time instead of monday all right we're gonna open up the pokey gear we're gonna try to find gavin on the list which we should have him there we found him we're waiting for 4 a.m. on Thursday. It is now 4 a.m., so we're just going to give Gavin a call. Good morning. Let's battle. Again, I, you know, I'm starting to think that the whole, like, waiting for the time to roll over is what's causing it to n always be guaranteed to have a battle. So, do that. But Gavin is going to be right here, and the added bonus of Gavin as opposed to Brent is that there's no grass, so you don't have to worry about using repels or encountering wild Pokemon. That being said, he gives you a little bit less EXP than Brent does. Again, if the Pokemon he uses are not the same level as you see on my screen, you just have to rebattle them a few times. So we are going to Dark Pulse. I believe we do not have to Nasty Plot for this battle at all. And we're going to get 4785 EXP from this one victory bell. He's going to send in a Kingler. That's not an issue. Oh, except for the fact that it protects, but that's not that bad. We're going to get 4866 EXP from that one. And here's his Flareon at level 50. And we are going to get 4771 EXP, almost leveling up again. But I mean, keep in mind, it's a level 83 Darkrai. So 
we get a lot of exp not quite as much as brent i personally think brent's a little better because you're just that much closer to a pokemon center and the only thing you have to worry about is the one or two wild encounters you're gonna get each time because of the grass but you could just use a repel for that so those are my two favorite trainers to rebattle to get a lot of exp in pokemon heart gold soul silver and how to consistently rebattle them with the poke gear now I'm going to show you how to get a lucky egg so you can get the same EXP bonus that I do. Keep in mind, I do have the trade bonus as well. If you can't get that, you won't be able to get as much EXP as me, but you'll still be able to get quite a bit with the lucky egg. If you can get it, then great. So to get a lucky egg, it's actually pretty simple in Gen 4. In Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, you can just go to Route 209 in Sinnoh and Pokey Radar Chain for Chansey and just catch every single Chansey. That's how I got the Lucky Eggs. It's really simple because the Pokey Radar will make it a really higher chance to encounter Chansey after you start your chain. And you can just keep catching them and they have a 5% chance to hold a Lucky Egg. In Heart Gold, Soul Silver, however, it's a little different as the only place Chansey normally can appear is a 1% encounter rate. So what you can do is you can also take advantage of the time skip. And you can get a Swarm Pokemon of Chansey. So to activate the Swarm, all you have to do is go to your radio in the Poke Gear. Let me just show this. And you're going to want to hit this button here. It's going to it's gonna activate the Pokemon Talk. And they're going to tell you where the Swarm Pokemon is. Right now it's Dunsparce and it's going to tell you the route. It's going to be Dark Cave. Now, what we're going to want to do is just do the same time skip I have been doing, but instead of changing it to 3.59 a.m., we just want to change it to 11.59 p.m. And then every time it rolls over to midnight, just hit that again until you see Chansey showing up on the specific route. It's going to be on Route 13, and it's going to be a 40% encounter rate. So you can just encounter the Chansey over and over again, keep catching them, and get a lucky egg from that so that is the best way to grind for exp without the use of the elite four in pokemon heart gold and soul silver this is my favorite way to grind and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed it make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe again if you're new and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like comment subscribe ring those notification bells all that good stuff be sure to join the domination and i will see you in the next video